So why would you want this type of technology in your supply chain? It's a little bit like, where's my iPhone? Where is my bin? Where is my crate at any given time? This, as such, gives you the possibility not to lose something. So you go into loss avoidance because you know where something is. And if it's misplaced, you know where to go and look for it. But honestly, that alone, loss avoidance, is not enough to invest in this technology, which is you know, still in its early stages, rapidly expanding, growing, dropping in price over time. But there's still a lot of work in this more experimental part of the business. So if you're just trying to find your losses, this is not enough for this technology. You need to go to that next step. If I know where something is at any given time, how does that help me optimize my supply chain? Then we are talking about the next level. We're talking about, okay, just in time arrival or empty stock versus loaded stock, faster rotations, faster pickups. How can you use this information of where something is to then get benefits and eliminate waste in your supply chain? That's the first level of IoT. The next phase, which we're already working on, is connecting the customer product to our reusable product. So then you don't just know where something is, but you also know the state of the product, which is in that bin or on that pallet or in that handheld crate. We're talking about temperature. We're talking about shock impact. How is my product doing along the supply chain? These are benefits that will come over the next years as technology evolves. And that's what we are working on with our partners. We are creating an ecosystem around this Tosca IQ with different partners, with different specialities. We are the pooling company, we have the platform, but we are connecting to all of these suppliers of tags and technology and forward-looking reporting to create this ecosystem that our customers can benefit from and bring all these advantages and eliminate the waste in their supply chain.